how to add a free shipping progress bar in a Shopify store. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can add a progress bar for the free shipping option or a gift option for example on your Shopify store. It is very simple and easy to do but it, it has some uh, some codes that I'm going to provide you on the description below the video that you are going to uh, put on the theme here. The first thing that you have to do is to go ahead to your Shopify store. Now the first step is to go on online store. Here we have the theme and under the theme I'm going to click on the three dots right here. The first thing is to click on duplicate here and the theme is duplicated. Now you can go ahead and download the theme file. You can go ahead and, and send the theme file to the uh, email address that you have set up your, your Shopify with. That's in case that we will uh, get some troubles or we have some errors in the code and we need the original file, we will get it right here. It is duplicated and the theme files are sent. Now, the first thing that you are going to do is you click on edit code. Here on the edit code, I'm going to add a snippet. The first thing is to add a snippet. I'm going to search here under the snippets. Here I'm going simply to add a new snippet. I'm going to name it, for example, progress bar, progress, progress, progress bar, dash bar, Correct. And here we have done. Now I'm going to empty up this uh, section. It is empty already. I'm going to get the code right here. This is the uh, first code. I'm going to click on copy. Go back right here. I'm going to paste it right here. Then I simply click on save uh, like that. And then I'm going right here to the filters. Then I am going to search for is settings, settings, schemes, schema. This is here. I'm going to here, I'm going to be here on the end of the box or the here. I'm going to search for the cart name right here. Here, the uh, this is the cart name. I'm going to put a uh, code right here. If you don't find this cart name right here and it is at the end of the uh, code of the setting schema, I have uh, a little recommendation is to click up uh, control F and here we have a search bar that can contain a coding right here. It will search for the code. You can go ahead and put cart like this dot uh, I'm going to put uh, cart dot name like that name and it will see here the code that is uh, it now at the end of this one I am going to add a code and this code I'm going to add it right here I'm going to put here a comma then I'm going to put uh, some space then I have a code that I'm going to add it right here this is the code that I have added and now I am going simply to click on save. Now, after I have finished this step, I'm going to the filter files and search for cart.js or JavaScript. Here we have this. I'm going to like this. It is right here. Click on this one. Now it will load up. I'm going to uh, here scroll down a little bit on a... Um, a quantity of a quarter or a quarter or third of the page for example until I, I find the uh, update quantity let's go ahead and find the update quantity and th there is at the end of the update quantity let's go ahead and see the update quantity end it will be ended right here before the publish pub right here now I'm going to add another code right here i'm going to right here put a lot of our uh, three or four lines i'm going to put this one and then simply i'm going to add another code be below this one 
Now, after I have added the uh, here the code, I'm going under the uh, or at the end of the publish here code. This is it. I'm going uh, just to add another code. For example, this is the code that I am going to add. Uh, it did not work. I'm going to click on copy again the code. Here we have it here. Paste it right here. It is a here update progress bar. It is uh, right here. Now we have this. It is le, uh, relied or connected to this one. I'm going simply to click on save and we should be good to go. Now we have only few lines of code to add. Bear with me guys, this is very simple. This is a step-by-step -step video. If you don't see yourself uh, following well the video, you can pause the video and go again from the beginning and you can go ahead and put it step-by-step. -step. Now, this is the uh, other code that we are going to add. I will link this website here. We have this uh, render code at main cart uh, dash liquid dash items dash liquid. I'm going to put here main cart, search for main cart, main here cart, and we will see here we have main cart dash items point liquid. Here on this one, I'm going to search for cart warnings here, and this is the cart warnings. It is not far away from the beginning. It is at the 70 uh, or at the 30 seventh line i'm going to add a couple here codes like that and then i'm going to click on save this is it for this one we have another uh, a code the, which is the last code that we are going to add now the last piece of code that we are going to add is right here i'm going to the filters file and I'm, I will go and tap cart drawer. And this is the cart drawer. As you can see here, it will be loading. I will search right here for an element called cart drawer item. It will not be far away from here. Let's see that where we are going to find it. Cart uh, drawer item drawer, cart drawer items. Is that it? I don't know. No, this is not it. I'm going to find it for here. Approximately right here. Let's see. Card draw note. It should be right here. It is not that far away and it is not very, very far. Uh, I think that I have chosen the wrong card drawer. I need the card dash drawer dot liquid and this is it not the uh, javascript here i'm going to uh, scroll down a couple lines and as you can see here we are going to see the card drawer item it should be right here i'm going to see and here i think that i have found it and here it is on the line 73 it is here car drawer item i'm going to add some space right here and then i'm simply going to put the last piece of code this is not the last piece of code but this is it i'm going right here paste it and boom here we go now i'm simply going to click on save and we should be good to go now I'm simply going to click on exit here. Now I am going to visit the store. I'm going to click on customize. But before that, I'm going to be assured that it will work. I'm going to view my online site here. I will open this page. Then I'm going to click simply on cart. Let's go ahead and see the cart. I will not go to see this one. I am going to right here. Let's go ahead and add something to our cart. Add it to the cart and it should be right here. But we haven't we have not set the uh, cart here as a drawer. 
now let's go ahead and confirm our theory by going to customize right here on the theme now I'm going simply to click on settings then I'm going to click on court here we have the court we have pop-up notification I'm going to put it drawer and we will see here we have the drawer I'm going to click on save and I'm going to preview everything here let's go ahead and view our website we have here nothing we have a page we have not a we have I'm going to put or see the drawer normally it will be a drawer and here as you can see right now we have a little error so don't be afraid we have just a problem I'm going to back to the uh, edit this section here I'm going to put the title that uh, of the error snippet slash card drawer line 74 this is the card drawer and line 74 here we have card progress bar custom this is the name of the uh, tutorial that I am going to uh, that I have used on this one but I have set up for here I am going to put the name that I have added on the snippets as you can see we have named our uh, here the card drawer here we have named it progress bar dash bar dot card dot liquid I'm going here to the card drawer again I'm going to search for the card drawer card dash drawer dot liquid here we have this one this is uh, this is the snippet that we are going to see here on the line 74 we have the name progress bar cart here I'm going to put progress bar cart simply like that and here this is it I'm going to simply click on save it will be saved and it is referenced now I'm going here to refresh the page then as you can see here we go we have the uh, free shipping right here I'm going to delete this one for example and here your only amount this is the amount that we have all you have to do to uh, edit the amount is to click on edit here the theme you will be guided to the theme editor and under the theme editor we are going right here to the theme option then I will go and scroll down until I see the cart. We have here the progress threshold. We have a number. I'm going to put it, for example, as 70. 70 or $99. It is up to you. You can go ahead and post goal message. Uh, put here the post goal message. Here the pre goal message. You are here only, for example, uh, the remaining uh, for here go for formatted away from here from free series shipping it is up to you for example uh, here is the goal which is the progress threshold here it will calculate a number and you will be good to go I will click on save and see right here the card it is it is empty I'm going to see the website let's see right here I'm going to refresh this page and then we have it uh, we have set the number to 70 we have we are only $43 away it is okay that was a uh, very simple that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon on the next one